Number 25. Alexandria, Modern Egypt. Alexandria was one of the greatest Hellenistic cultural centers in antiquity. It was founded and named in 331 BCE by one of the most influential Greeks ever, Alexander the Great, and would remain the capital of Hellenistic Roman and Byzantine Egypt for over a thousand years until the Muslim conquest of Egypt in AD 641. During the Hellenistic period and Greek reign of the city, some of the greatest architectural masterpieces in human history were erected there, including the Lighthouse of Alexandria, also known as the Pharaohs of Alexandria, which was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and the Royal Library of Alexandria, which was the largest and most famous library in antiquity. Number 24. Byzantium, Constantinople, Modern Turkey Istanbul, as it's internationally known, is today the largest city and port in Turkey, with a population of over 14 million but the city's cultural and historical legacy is more Greek than anything. The city was originally founded by ancient Greek colonists from Megara in 657 BCE and was named Byzantium, Byzantium after King Byzance. Number 23, Massalia, modern France. Massalia is today called Marseille and it's the second biggest city in France after Paris and one of the biggest commercial ports, not just in the country, but also in all of Europe. Despite the fact that humans have inhabited the area for at least 30,000 years, it became an official city with an advanced civilized social and trading system only after ancient Greek explorers from Phocaea colonized it and named it Massalia. It became famous for producing one of the best soaps in antiquity and in its prime, it was one of the busiest trading ports of the ancient world. Number 22. Imperium Modern Spain The town that is known today by the Catalan name Imperius was originally founded in 575 BCE by Greek explorers and colonists from Phocia, modern-day Phoca in Turkey, who named it Emporion, which means trading place in Greek, and from the translation one can easily understand for what purpose the Greeks used the town. Later, the town would be occupied by the Romans and during the Middle Ages it would be abandoned because its location made it easy prey for passing pirates and corsairs. The ruins, however, that have been found in recent years remind the locals and tourists of the once glorious Greek past of the ancient city of Emporion. Number 21. Siberus, Modern Italy Siberus was a Greek colony in what is now southern Italy and was founded around 720 BCE by Achaean and Trozenian settlers. The city was famous for its remarkable strategic position on the Gulf of Toronto and at some point Siberius became synonymous with luxury and immense wealth. At its peak, the population exceeded 300,000. Number 20. Alexandria on the Caucasus, Modern Afghanistan, Pakistan and India Alexandria on the Caucasus was another city named after the great Greek king Alexander the Great who conquered the area and founded the city. At its peak and under the rule of the Greco-Bactrian king Demetrius who invaded India early in the 2nd century BCE, the city would become one of the capitals of the vast Greco-Indian kingdom that covered parts of modern Afghanistan, Pakistan and northwest India. Coins and other ancient Greek ruins that were found during the archaeological research reveal that the local population worshipped Zeus as their god. Number 19. Hippos, Modern Israel um, wrong hippo. That's more like it. Today, Hippos, Hippos in Greek translates to horse by the way, is an archaeological site in Israel with a great view of the Sea of Galilee that attracts many tourists but in antiquity was a Greco-Roman city and part of the Decapolis, a region of 10 cities that covered large areas of modern Jordan, Syria and Israel and was culturally influenced by and connected with Greece and Rome. Hippos itself was probably found by Seleucid colonists during the 2nd century BCE and many excavations in recent times have shown that Hippos had exactly the same structure and organization of a Greek polis, city-state, including a temple dedicated to the Greek gods and a central agora, marketplace, among other public structures. Number 18. Buthreton, Modern Albania Buthreton, also known as Buthreton, might today be an archaeological site in a recently independent state of Albania but in antiquity, it was an ancient Greek city flowing with life and human activity and part of the United Greek Kingdom of Epirus. Even though it was believed to have been inhabited since prehistoric times, Bothrutum was probably established as an official city-state by Corinthian colonists sometime between the 8th and 6th centuries BCE. 
Since excavation of the area revealed Proto-Corinthian pottery from the 7th century and Corinthian and Attic pottery from the 6th century. Number 17, Heliopolis, modern Lebanon. Baalbek is a town located in Lebanon with a rich history. It has some of the best preserved Greco-Roman monuments in the country and it once existed as a Greek city-state under Alexander the Great. After the Greek general conquered the Near East in 334 BCE, the extant yet uninhabited place was named Heliopolis from the Greek Helios, which means sun, and Polis, which means city. The city retained its Greek character during the Roman rule and even more temples were constructed dedicated to Zeus and other Greek gods. The Temple of Zeus is a major tourist attraction today and is considered one of the best conserved temples in the Middle East. Number 16, Myrmikion, modern Russia, Ukraine. This year, most of us learn about the Crimea Peninsula, also known as Crimea, because of the territorial dispute between Russia and Ukraine. However, the ancient Greeks had explored and colonized the region many centuries before the Russians or the Ukrainians ever lived there. Originally settled by Milesian Greeks in the 6th century BCE, the city, located on the shore of the Cimmerian Bosporus, soon became the richest in the region. In the following years and under Greek influence, the city flourished on many levels and was known for producing high-quality wine. Number 15, Igostina, Modern Greece. Igostina was an ancient Greek fortified port city in Africa under the rule of one of the most historic and advanced Greek city-states, Megara. The town was known by its impressive city walls that remained impenetrable for many years and its strategic position that made Megara one of the biggest threats to Athens for many years. Interestingly, the area is quite a popular tourist attraction because there are still ruins of some of the tallest surviving towers and buildings from antiquity. Number 14, Cyrene, modern day Libya. Cyrene was an ancient Greek colony in North Africa near the modern city of Sahat in Libya. It was founded in 630 BCE by Greek colonists from Thera, modern day in Santorini, and got its name from the source of the Spring of Wisdom that was dedicated to the god Apollo. It quickly developed and evolved into a center of Greek culture in North Africa. It was also a large shopping center. Number 13, Heraclea Syntica, modern Bulgaria. Heraclea Syntica was an ancient Greek town located near the village of Rupi, Bulgaria, and was identified only recently from the accidental discovery of local coins during excavation, which left no doubt about the Greek origin of this ancient town. This finally ended a long-term argument between Greece and Bulgaria about the origin of Heraclea, Syntica, and its location. Number 12. Kepoi, Modern Russia Soviet excavations in the Taman Peninsula back in the late 1950s revealed amazing ancient finds, including a marble statue of a Greek goddess later named the Aphrodite of Taman. The solution of the excavation was that the ancient Greeks had colonized modern-day Russia as well, and a Greek city named Kepoi in antiquity was the best proof of this. The research showed that Greek explorers from Miletus established a colony around the 6th century BCE and during the Hellenistic period, the area saw times of great wealth and prosperity. Number 11, Heraclea Licenstis, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Heraclea Licenstis was a strategically important Greek city during the Hellenistic period and was established in the 4th century BCE by Alexander the Great's father, Philip II who ruled the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon at the time. The city was named after the mythological hero Heracles, from whom both Philip II and Alexander believed they were descendants. Today, only a few ruins and monuments exist near the present-day town of Biltola in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Number 10, Smyrna, modern Turkey. Smyrna was not only a Greek city, but also one of the oldest cities and ports of the Mediterranean. It was established around 3000 BCE and survives today under the name Izmir in modern-day Turkey. It was continuously inhabited by the Greeks for nearly 5,000 years from antiquity until the Great Fire of Smyrna in 1922 when large parts of the city burnt, mostly the Greek and American sections and the population became largely Turkish following the Treaty of Leozan. Number 9. Laodicea at Lebanon, Modern Syria Unfortunately, there are not many significant historical records about this city, and for that reason, we don't know all that much about the Hellenistic town's traditions, ethics, and society. However, the few ancient Greek ruins and the remains that were found a few miles outside Horn, Syria, 
was proof enough for archaeologists and historians to verify the ancient historian and geographer Strabo's claims that the Greeks had not only visited modern-day Syria in antiquity, but also colonized it and established a few cities there, among them Laodicea ad Libanum. Number 8. Istros, Modern Romania Istros, or Histria, was an ancient Greek city near the mouth of the Danube River, which the ancient Greeks called Ister, and is today the European Union's longest river and the second longest in all of Europe after the Volga. The city was founded by Greek settlers from Miletus who wanted to make trade easier with the natives of Catea. Thracian tribes inhabiting the region to either side of the lower Danube in what is today northern Bulgaria and southern Romania. Even though sources vary greatly about the founding of the city, the date is estimated to be around 630 BCE. A silver drachma from 480 BCE was also found in the area, which is considered to be the earliest documented currency for a Romanian territory. Number 7. Cumae, Modern Italy Cumae, or Cuma, as modern Italians call it today, was another ancient Greek city of the many in Magna Graecia. Cumae was named Cumae in antiquity and is considered to be the very first Greek colony of the Italian mainland. European Greeks established the city and brought with them their variant of the Greek alphabet that would later develop into the Latin alphabet. Number 6. Naucratis, Modern Egypt The discovery of the ancient Greek city of Naucratis proved many historians wrong who were claiming that the first time the Greeks visited Egypt was during Alexander's reign. Around the 7th century BCE, almost 400 years before the Greek king would conquer the area, some Greek mercenaries from Miletus had already landed in Egypt, and according to Herodotus, with the help of other Greek pirates and explorers from Caria and other places of the Greek mainland, they established the city of Necratus around 550 BCE. Number 5. Dodona, Modern Greece Dodona was an ancient Greek town located in Epirus, a region that's still inside the borders of modern Greece and which became particularly famous in antiquity as a cultural and religious spot where many people travel from around the world to worship Zeus and the goddess Dion, from which the city took its name. The shrine of Dodona was considered to be the oldest Greek oracle, dating for the second millennium BCE according to the Greek historian Herodotus. The ancient theater of Dodona, built in the 3rd century BCE under Pyrrhus, the king of Epirus, who was one of the most ferocious adversaries of Rome, had a capacity of 18,000 and was at the time the largest and most impressive theater in the ancient world. Number 4. Eucratadia, Modern Afghanistan Eucratadia was an ancient Greek town and part of the Greco-Bacterium kingdom that covered vast areas of Central Asia from 250 to 125 BCE. It was founded and named after the Greco-Bactrian king Eucratidas I, who was a distant descendant of Alexander the Great. Even though we don't know much information about the city, since there aren't many historical sources from that period that speak of the region, we know that the city worshipped Zeus. In many parts of the city they spoke Greek dialects and considered themselves sons and descendants of Heracles and Alexander the Great. Number 3. Odessa, Modern Ukraine the city of Odessa has been in the world news as of late because of the violence that occurred in the area earlier this year and the clashes between pro-Ukrainian and pro-Russian protesters. Odessa, however, was once a peaceful ancient Greek colony called Odessa, probably after another Greek city with the same name. Many artifacts and ruins discovered during excavation leave no doubt that Greek settlers once inhabited the city. Number 2. Nikaya, Modern France Nice the Beautiful is famous around the world as one of France's most beautiful tourist spots, mainly because of its warm climate, amazing coastlines, its picturesque villages, and rare natural beauty. However, Nice has a very rich historical and cultural background as well. It's believed to have been founded around 350 BCE by the same ancient Greek colonists who founded Massalia. It was named Nikaia after the Greek goddess of victory, Nike, way before she gave her name to the most popular brand of sports shoes in the world. And number one, Agrigia, modern day Italy. Nowadays, Agrigento is a small city in Sicily that is known for its archaeological legacy. The city, named Agrigia, was established around 580 BCE by Greek colonists from Gaela, another former Greek colony in what is now southern Italy. The city was one of the most dominant, prominent cities of Magna Graecia, which translates as Great Greece, and was the term ancient Greeks used to refer to all the colonies and coastal areas of southern Italy during Greece's Golden Age. 
Akraga was for many years a financial and cultural center with an extremely large population and great wealth. If you like what you just saw, consider pressing that orange subscribe button up there to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out 25 most dangerous hikes, treks, and climbs on earth and 25 interesting beer facts that will leave you tipsy.